I visited a young man one time in prison. He was a good, good man, a good soul. But for a temporary time in his life, he got caught up in the wrong crowd. And he bent to peer pressure. And he went with the crowd, allowing others to make decisions for him. And he was the one that was caught. He was the one that was paying the price. And I suppose that is justice for making the wrong decision at the wrong time. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33 says, Don't be fooled. Bad friends will ruin good habits. And so they do. If you have bad friends or a bad peer group, walk away. Think for yourself. Get away from the crowd mentality and don't follow the crowd. In uh, the writings of Rick Warren, he has said, those who follow the crowd usually get lost in it. And so they do. Our world is filled with pressures some good and some bad. The pressures that cause us to behave responsibly, well, they're positive pressures. God places pressures on our hearts and in our lives to guide us rightly and well. But we also feel different pressures, ones that are definitely not from God. Society will often seek to mold us into worldly beings. But God seeks to mold us into spiritual beings, new beings, beings that are decidedly not conformed to the mistakes of the world going down the wrong path. If we desire to live responsible lives, and I know you do or you wouldn't be watching this, if we seek to please God, we must resist the pressures of the peer groups and the crowds going in the wrong direction. And we know sometimes in our gut that it's the wrong direction, and yet we don't want others to not like us, so we tend to walk along with them. We must resist that temptation. We must pray for the courage to go our own way. It, we don't always have to do the popular thing. Instead, we insist with God on doing the right thing. And it may not pay off for you in the very second you're doing it, but down the path of life, it will pay off huge dividends. As you are successful in life and successful in your soul,